You're listening to The Cutting Edge with Kevin Quarrell. And you're very welcome back uh, here on Kilk Community Radio, Kilkenny City on 88.7 FM. And I'm joined in the studio by uh, Rory Canellan and Liz Campbell. Now, just before we went on the break there, uh, we had the, the marvellous image of this big mad tarantula using a... Uh, Jumper leads with, as nunchuckers. So, Rory, you may not sleep tonight if I keep putting this inside your head. Uh, but let's also have a look at courage, okay? Mm. Um, we accept that each, each one of us have uh, fear, and for whatever reason, uh, it may be rational to us, and yet we may not even know why we have it. Mm. Uh, as, as in the case of mine, I've I got no idea why I have a fear of heights, but, but I do, and I accept that. Now, but courage is the other side of that coin. And uh, I often wonder how we find courage, uh, what we do with it, uh, what does it actually mean? Um, Liz, you mentioned your fear of phones. Yeah. Um, but what about courage? Is there a, a thing that you can think of in your life where you feel that you've had courage? Yeah, th- there's a few things. I mean, usually it's, it's something surrounding, I know a period of time is going to be difficult of life, and it's having the courage to face that that time and knowing that sometimes courage doesn't roar and it's just a small voice saying I'm going to try again it doesn't courage doesn't necessarily have to be overcoming something big you make overcoming something small and it's just you've got to find that strength inside you and know that it's for the good and the outcome of courage is empowerment absolutely it empowers you so it's just just facing it and realizing that it's going to there's going to be good come out of it even though it might be difficult at the time and it's small steps at the end of it, it's empowerment, and once you face, you've got the courage, you can face your fear, yes, and overcome it. It helps to overcome it. Yeah. And what about you, Rory? Um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if there's specific points in my life where I know I'm courageous. I, I think I, I can associate a lot with what Liz is saying there. I mean, there is periods of my life where I know things are going to be bad and I'm going to be difficult. And uh, I, like that, I do take empowerment over. I acknowledge that I'm going to be feeling that way. I, you know, accept that I'm feeling that way and I let it happen. I don't try and fight it. I mean, I think sometimes people get wrapped up in the other end of it where they, they go to the extreme to try and kind of <laughs> overcome, you know, periods of bad periods of their life. You know, I don't, I'm, I'm willing to accept them. I'm willing to accept that that's how I'm feeling. And and I let people know that I'm, and I'm you know, this is why I'm in a bad mood, you know. Um, sometimes it does happen when I can't really understand when it's happening, and that they're probably the harder ones because it's not until maybe a day or two later I was like, oh god, you know, it's, you know. When, yeah, when yeah, you're stuck uh, in the moment, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, and uh, you know, it's like, yeah, that's why it happened, and I can recall a bit more clearly as to what went on for me then. But um, yeah, I think that you know that's it's the everyday day one, and and funny enough, I, um, I I get what you're saying in relation to suicide, and it is something I think that is completely lost when you say, oh, somebody has. Uh, taking their own life or somebody who you know engages in suicide is, is you know is being courageous because i mean the, i think the perception out there is that it's cowardly you know because it's seen as a coward's way out nearly that they you know but i mean from working with people who are suicidal for a couple the last couple of years i have seen the other side of it which is they're on their own you know they they they, they experiences and what they go through and the loneliness that they, they they go through and even to come up with the decision i mean the majority of people who do decide to take their own life they don't make that decision lightly and it takes an yes. awful amount of courage to get to the point now we can argue i think which is more proper and around suicide which is um you know whether it was the right decision for that person or not is one thing but to actually get to the stage and make the decision there's a huge amount of courage involved because yeah. it's a very very lonely path yeah and for me uh, and, and by all means we are not treating this uh, topic lightly in any way shape no, or not form at all. Uh, when it comes to courage for me it's it's like a misguided courage uh, yes there is an element of it in there but it's like to me it, it's a bit like using the internet in a sense, the internet is a wonderful uh, modern tool, and a lot of people can use it for research and empowerment. To use your word, Liz, to help us get educated, mm-hmm. and yet the majority of the internet is used for watching pornography. So it's like we can have courage, but we've got to use it in the right way. Okay, what we're going to do here, listeners, is on Friday evening, uh, I was down with Liz and uh, at the airport, and. 
I engaged in a parachute jump from 10,000 feet, a skydive, and then a parachute jump. And I was lucky enough uh, that I recorded this, and uh, this, I've had a little listen back to it. Uh, to me, it really is going to be classic radio. I, I'm still, I'm looking forward to hearing hearing the whole lot of it here now. So what we're going to do is just, we'll play the tape, I'll say no more, I'll let you guys listen to it and experience it how however you will. So let's roll the tape there, Lewis. I'm speaking here with uh, Eric, isn't it? That's right, Jeff. Yeah. Okay, Eric, so you're doing a skydive here today? I am indeed. And uh, how did all that come about? Dropping subtle hints as a, I had a bit of a milestone birthday there, I turned 30, so it came as a... A present for my brother in Australia. Okay. Is it, uh, oh, very nice. Mm. Very nice. So we're looking forward to it anyway. We are indeed. Yeah, I yeah. can't wait for it, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. And for the listeners at home, we're um, Eric and I are the first two off the mark here tonight. So uh, it's uh, it's going to be an interesting experience. The buzzer you hear in the background is uh, the metal detector at the airport here. We'll uh, get organised. Uh, it looks like we're about to move on again, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks a lot, Eric. Thank you, Kevin. We'll, get, we'll talk to you afterwards. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And here I am talking to one of the uh, instructors, Shane. Uh, what's your last name, Shane? Shane Michaels. Shane Michaels. Jeez, and that doesn't sound like a local accent, mate. No, it's an uh, Aussie accent. All the way from where? Uh, Brisbane, Australia. You're one of the uh, instructors here, That's right. or masters, as they say. Well, yeah, instructors, yeah. Tanner Master, either, either one. Yeah. And how long have you been jumping, Shane? Uh, 15 years. And you have the face to prove it, as they say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so 15 years, and, and in Ireland, you've been here for how long? Eight, eight years now. Okay, and we, have you been jumping since you came across? Yeah, I have actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, that's excellent stuff. Yeah. And what do you reckon today, conditions today, good? Actually, the conditions today are ideal. Uh, some people like it when there's no clouds, but I like it when there's a, a different layers of clouds because it's more contrast. And uh, I think it's more visually pleasing to be able to fly with, you know, amongst the clouds. Excellent. Yeah, so it's perfect. All right, Shane, we'll see you up there. Well, here I am, out in the tarmac, walking along to the, to the plane. Well, we have to do a bit of training first, I believe. Yeah, it's very basic training. It's just to explain what happens, uh, the procedures in the plane, uh, what we're going to be doing in free fall, and um, what to do once we come into land, just to make sure we have a nice, safe landing. Yeah, and, and I, I'd like a nice safe landing, actually. Yes, it's, me too. As much as I'm a daredevil at times. But. So, uh, so we're out here in the tarmac. You can probably hear the wind in the background here. Nice to see the fire services there for the emergencies. It's kind of interesting now, the experiences, the feelings going through the head here. That's going to be an interesting day, and we should be up in the air fairly shortly, I hope. How are you, sir? Are you recording all this? I am oh, recording. No, it's really this. unlucky to record stuff before you go flying. Tools <laughs> or anything. See that strap? You can touch that if you want. Yeah. So now with one swift movement, I'm going to lift it onto my arm. You ready? Yeah. Swift. Your legs are between mine if you can. They are, yeah. Where to put that? Where can I put my foot down? Yeah. Okay. Right, just lean forward a little bit. Take Good luck, Eric. Ah. Okay. Well, hey. Record. Deadly. Good stuff. Kev, what do you think of that, sir? Pretty good. All right, Kev, can I get it? Yes. Hang on, one more. One more. Where do you want me to grab? Stand on my feet. Right. Stand up. Just next side. Right. Okay. Alright, Kev. Alright. How is this fully open? Okay. So here we are. Up in the air. Alright, Kevin. See the yellow thing? Hands in there. Left hand in there. Hands up all the way. Right. There is the airfield over here. There's the airport. Right. That's where we're heading, bro. So I'm steering. Right. Do you want to pull down on the right one? Pull it down to your way. Let's go for the back. Whoa! Oh, yeah. sh- Hands up all the way. Hands up all the way. Oh. Hands raised in the knee. I don't know if I like too much of that. Huh? You don't like that? That's no, alright. 
Okay, what we're doing is a corkscrew here. All right. and that just feels awesome. It's unbelievable. Flaring the chute and dropping. It's not some view, isn't it? It's wonderful. What height have we got now, Dave? We're at two and a half thousand feet. Okay, two and a half thousand. All right, we're going to pull down the right toggle. We're okay. To turn to the right. And we're going to the cork again. Ah! Up. Ah. Oh, Jesus. All right, you can let go of the toggles. I'm going to take it into land, all right? Right. Okay. Remember what we said about coming into land, okay? I do. Put your knees up to your chest. Show me how you're going to do it. Okay. Look down and grab a load of material at your knees. Oh, Look sorry. Down. Look down and grab a load of material at your knees. Yeah. And put the leg up and out. Perfect. I'll tell you when to do that, okay? Okay. Nice one. It's very hard when you have to look down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I never hang out. I'm, uh, over that. I'm okay looking out, but looking down. Yeah. No way, well, man. You reach down and feel your knees. I'm kind of, I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm used to it at this stage of my career. I'm oh. three and a half thousand jumps. Okay, well, I'm in good hands. <laughs> Oh, don't know about that now. Oh, <laughs> Well, the last two and a half thousand has taken longer to get down yeah. than the first two and a half thousand. Right, thousand feet now. Thousand feet. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Yeah, we can see the right, landing down, area. Reach down and grab those knees up. Reach down and grab the material. That's it. Get your knees up to your chest. Good lad. Alright. Okay, we're probably a bit couple of hundred feet here. Yeah. Ah. Nice, nice landing here, Dave. Alright, get the knees all the way up. All right. Legs up! And stand up. Thanks, Shane. God bless you. Oh, ho, ho. Stand up. Stand up. Sorry. Sorry. Well done. What do you think? Excellent, mate. Excellent. Here we are. We've landed. What do you think? There you go, Dave. <laughs> so there. We're Diego on the ground. has landed. That's it. So you're on the ground. You're nice and safe. We're here. I'm alive. It's all good. So, excellent Dave, thanks very much Great. mate, KDF buddy, <laughs> KDF. Alright, so... And all that was done for suicide awareness and prevention, by so... By Tandem Skydive. By Tandem Skydive, great bunch of guys, and uh, we wish them all very well for the rest of the weekend. And uh, that was just wonderful, thanks very much lads. You're very welcome. Fair play to you. No worries my friend. 88.7 FM, the new sound of community radio in Kilkenny City.